Hi everyone, Halloween's coming up, which means I need to start coming up with ideas for decorations. Now, of course, I have my 3D printer, so I wanted something where I can incorporate 3D printing and Halloween together. So I reached out to Spoolery, who are a local seller of um, ABS filaments, PLA filaments, and other specialist filaments for the 3D printer. And they were kind enough to send me over this glow-in-the-dark PLA plastic filament. How cool is that? So this stuff gets charged by sunlight or by fluorescent light light and when you turn off your lights it glows and it's actually pretty bright. Now if you've gone to local malls like SM Mega Mall or Robinsons or something like that you've probably seen companies selling these one kilo rolls for anywhere from 2000 to 2500 with spoilery they're only 1200 now with that said, you do have to take into account quality. Don't just go for the cheapest, cheapest option that won't always be the best. Now I've been testing this and I've had no problems, which is good. But one thing you want to look out for is the consistency of the plastic. For instance, you wanna make sure it doesn't have any bubbles, that it's consistent width everywhere. I've seen some really poor cheap ones where it has bubbles in it and where it's say, I don't know, maybe two millimeters thick in one area, one millimeter thick in another area, then two millimeters this one so far has been really consistent so I'm actually very happy with spoilery and with their price I think I'm probably going to swap over to them from my previous seller and for that 1200 peso it also includes free delivery by Zend or LBC so you really can't complain to your door for 1200 peso ABS or PLA now every spool is different. For instance, I have my spool holder here from my Flashforge Creator Pro, and unfortunately it doesn't hold this reel. So um, I've actually had to kind of, I put it like this, and then put a piece of cardboard underneath it to hold it like that, so they can still spin freely on my printer. But really what I need to do is just 3D print a replacement for this that is compatible with this spool size. Um, so don't chop and change all the time with your, you know, your supplier for your plastic, because it becomes kind of a hassle you also have to learn about what temperature is best for these plastics um, the speed and so on and so on so choose a supplier and then stick with them if you can so let's go to the printer and try this stuff out So as mentioned earlier, because it doesn't fit on my spool holder, I just have a piece of cardboard holding it. It's sitting on the spool holder like this, so it can turn, but it takes a bit more force to turn. It seems to be okay though, but I really do have to print a spool holder that fits this onto my machine properly. So I managed to print off a bunch of stuff. Um, one thing I will say is that I had to experiment a bit because I'm so used to printing with ABS and this one is actually a PLA. Uh, normally I don't like PLA because if you put it in a hot car for instance or any really hot area it's going to start to melt or droop. Um, but you know when it comes to specialty ones like this glow in the dark you don't really have a choice so I'm okay with PLA. Now for my regular subscribers, you might recognize this. I did a video about this before, which you can see if you click here. So um, this is a toothpaste squeezer. You put your toothpaste roll in here and you just push it up, push it up, and it makes sure that you've always got toothpaste at the end. Very simple print, very quick, but just something I wanted to test because I know it's a good model. I also printed this little Halloween man. Um, this was actually much larger and I sized him down. Uh, it did affect the quality of his face by sizing it down, but it's still pretty cool. He's still a cool little man, especially when he glows in the dark. And I wanted to test the quality at a really fine, small level. So I printed this spider. Look at those legs. Look at them. They're absolutely tiny, and I managed to get this off the print bed in one piece. This plastic is a little bit flexible, um, and it's very tough, so I actually managed to print this and get it off the bed without breaking it. That's pretty cool, right? Cool little spider. Imagine if you printed, say, I don't know, 20 of these and hang them on some um, nylon string or something that's invisible. It would look pretty cool, especially when they start glowing in the dark. 
I also printed one of my favorite things lately, which is these little um, shark clips. And it's prints as one piece, you squeeze it and then it clips on. So you can see it's now clipping onto my finger. It's pretty cool. So printed quite a few things, but I know what you're thinking. Great, yeah, you say it's glow in the dark. Show us it glows in the dark. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So here we go. <laughs> you can't really see me, but you can see these glowing. Here's the spider. Ooh. You can see my little shark man. See, they're so awesome really cool and they just charge if you just put them in sunlight or fluorescent light really cool really cool really like these really cool and i'm really looking forward to using these for uh, halloween super cool so i hope you enjoyed this video and you probably found it useful if you're looking for a cheaper supplier of these abs and pla plastic um, filaments for your 3d printer so if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and you can follow me on twitter at whitey gadget addict where you'll see behind the scenes and other things like that thanks for watching